I don't know, they had these big speed bumps. I think they called them topes. The first time we drove over it, it was like, oh, well, that was fun. So we said, let's do that again, but this time full speed. The car was flying, Aria. That's how we broke car number three. And I am the one with the problem in the family. Today's video is very personal to me. It's about special needs children and artificial intelligence and how this technology can help special needs kids to communicate. If you happen to be the parent of a special needs child, you know that communication can be difficult and sometimes you have no idea what they're thinking or feeling. Because they moved the taco truck, Harry, he couldn't find the way home anymore. My dad can be such a goofball when he tells me one of his stories. Artificial intelligence is used for facial recognition, stock trading, chatbots, fraud prevention, and of course, self-driving cars. Applied Behavior Analysis, ABA, is the perfect application for artificial intelligence and machine learning. ABA involves ongoing data collection to evaluate whether behavior is changing in the desired direction. We learn most of our skills through repetitive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement is a great motivator. Machine learning could be used to study special needs kids' behavior in their home. Modern technology like a simple iPad has everything needed for such an application. And maybe you don't know what machine learning is, but most likely you use a machine learning application in your daily life. A simple example is your picture sorting function on your phone. I just tell my phone or computer this is a picture of Aria. It will scan through thousands of pictures in seconds, learn Aria's facial features and put all the pictures of Aria in a folder or album. Wearable devices will eventually take over and for example replace seizure alert dogs. If you're not familiar with that, it's specially trained dogs that can sense an oncoming seizure and alert and help or assist its partner during and after a seizure. There are already sensors available that are for example worn as a wristband to monitor stress signals to predict an oncoming seizure. This kind of feedback devices could be used to measure the response to certain triggers or given tasks. The facial expressions and micro expressions of normal people have been studied for years and been associated with involuntary emotions and the true emotions of a person. Very little has been done with special needs kids and definitely not enough to know if a facial expression of one special needs child correlates with the facial expression of another special needs child and if they mean the same emotional state. What would you like to eat, Aria? Avocado toast. <laughs> These iPad applications are a great tool to help nonverbal children with communication. What's missing though is a combination of all these technologies. Assistive technology, wearable devices to provide real-time feedback, and facial recognition to study emotional I conditions. I want music toy. I want music. Oh my gosh, Dad. I swear I'll jump out of the moving car if I have to listen to the wheels on the bus one more time. Oh yeah, child lock is on. Arya tried to open the door the other day while I was driving. I don't know what got into her. Here is an example of how AI could be used to better interact with special needs children. Arya would use her simplistic familiar music toy that has only a few buttons, that has a Bluetooth interface to a tablet device. When she selects a song, her facial expressions would be evaluated using facial recognition software. This determines her emotional state in addition to monitoring her vital signs measured by the wearable device. 
And just like Netflix learns from your watch history and customizes the suggestions, we will maybe eventually find out that instead of wheels on the bus, Arya actually likes jazz or hip hop or maybe she loves classical music. For verbal kids, this could also be used for speech therapy with the addition of voice recognition software. Again, everything available on a simple off-the-shelf iPad or any other tablet device. And it could go even further by sharing information with, for example, a genetic research institution. With a simple check mark of consenting to share information, now AI can compare the information of your child with thousands of other kids on the network. When starting new medication, especially with nonverbal kids, it's not always easy to gauge the results. For example, with seizure medications, yes, the seizures might stop. But now she is just staring into empty space. Some of these medications turn kids into lifeless little zombies. An app like this would keep track of the medication dosage and AI would learn if the medication is actually an improvement or worsens the condition or if the side effects are worse than the disease itself. Machine learning is great for pattern detection and even meals could be recorded and maybe the AI finds out that every time your child has pasta, the day after she ends up with seizures. Machine learning would find correlations and would even see if other people on the network have the same issue. This kind of application could of course also be used for ADHD and other learning disabilities. And just like modern cars already have attention detection by monitoring pupil size indicating fatigue, it could be recognized when the child loses attention and then change course. A social media component could also be implemented so the parent can interact with each other and share information and ask other parents about their experience with certain medicines or alternative medicines and many other things. And even an automatic reward system could be implemented to make ABA easier and more consistent. Maybe you find that impersonal and inhumane. But don't forget that special needs kids, just like anybody else, need their alone time to feel independent and self-sufficient. But some tasks may never get replaced by AI or robots. Because in the end, the need for human touch is one of the most basic primal needs. I think there is great potential for AI to improve special needs kids' lives. And it gives parents like myself, of a nonverbal child, hope that one day we hear them say Dad, I love you. Be it with their own little voice or an artificial one. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and see you next time.